Oh. Oh no, it's recording. It started. It oh, started. I'll start it. No, <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, fuck. You gotta fix it? Tell, tell me. Give me the. I'll probably get that. Welcome, one. Welcome all to the Multicultural Misfits Podcast. This is your host, Audio AB. Next to me on the couch, I have my wonderful co host, Jordan. And across from him, I have my wonderful co host, Umpire. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, boys? I gotta take a quick little intermission. I'll be <laughs> right back. I have uh, explosive diarrhea. I'll be right <laughs> oh back. Oh my god! <laughs> now that wasn't a lie. AB's lens done popped out, dude. He's feeling oh. like a pirate. <laughs> Ooh, he shimmied out of there. He shimmied out of there. That was fucking scary. Jill, Wait, let me on. ask you something. Let's go into it hot and heavy. How do you feel about these Balenciaga ads? <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> these ads are crazy. I wanted. I. I. This might be controversial. Uh? I don't. The 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 one where it was like the uh the paper talking about pornography shit, I get why people are mad. Yes. The one with the kids, I don't get why people are mad. You think you don't think it's too like all right, so for the people that don't know that don't know, Balenciaga released some ads recently. Yeah. That it's like a fashion line, you know, so they're adding like whatever like jackets and wallets they got coming out or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And the people that are promoting it, so like the, the marketing ads are based around children in like weird like BDSM situations where they're wearing like they got like leather shit on, or they got like a teddy bear with like a noose on it, like a like a belt does noose. Does that make it BDSM, or does that just make it emo and like? What edgy? makes it BDSM is those court documents. So those that's court- what makes it weird. So in the picture, there's a kid, they and have it's like- two separate. It's two separate campaigns too. It's two separate campaigns. It's two separate campaigns. They did this twice. No, so like they were in that they were in that creative room being like, <laughs> I, that one's pretty good. Let's do it here too. <laughs> Come on, get no, the pedophilia. So, so the kids part was like a part of. Like a kid's line or whatever the fuck. I don't know what it was. But mm-hmm. it was two separate campaigns. Okay. So uh, they were a part of two different like advertising things. So they weren't connected at all. But the same vibe. The same like kind of message. They shorter. were just both from Balenciaga. So the, but, so the kids look like they're like, they have like makeup on that's kind of like, that's kind of like, like they've been crying or something. I don't know. Like smeared. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's evil. on the table. I mean, yeah, it is kind of, yeah, it's just like gothic looking. I mean, I hear you. I hear you. It's not too crazy until the, the court things. But on the table where the kids are posing in front of, there's a range of different products. They got a bunch of like little money clips and all kinds of shit. Yeah. And on the table, there are documents uh, from a pedophilia case, from like an internet, like sex, sex tape <clears throat> for children, kind of like a BDSM thing. Okay. Or not BDSM, but like a, like a sex tape for kids kind of thing. I don't know what it was, but it was some old like trial where, where someone was... Taking someone to court for pedophilia. Some shady shit. Some okay. shady shit, and the kids are in there looking kind of creepy. But with they're not dolls con- they're that not look con- like they've been sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> they're not connect. That my thing is that they aren't connected, and it's like, are we really saying Balenciaga is participating in child pornography? No. And I, no, I think the distribution of like, child pornography. They're using it as an edgy like marketing campaign. That's all. Yes, it is. that's it, what I think it is. E- either way, like a brand like Balenciaga. All right, I think we can all agree on this. They're very aware of their brand. They scrutinize every single frame, every single model, every single image they're putting out, they're very conscious of. Okay. Yeah. Because they're aware, because they're because they have a luxury product. So they want to make sure that they're tailoring their image to exactly what they want it to be. Yeah. So are you guys telling me that at least twenty or thirty different people didn't see all those frames and all and stage all of that before it went out? Man, For that sure shit that was mad. Staged. It looked hella zoomed in. Yeah. It was staged because they Come put on, it out there to like, the point where, like, you can see the headline, like, whatever versus whatever. So you can Google it easily. Like, it's not even about reading the thing. It's like you just Google the headline. Yeah. They could have put just the text at the bottom. They could have they, they could have not put it at all. They put they it in there not put on it purpose all. for sure. That is true. And Somebody I, definitely got those documents, printed them out, and put them on that table. Yeah. And I feel and I say I will say that it is weird and it is strange and I don't condone it the behavior. But, but you don't I think just it's don't, Illuminati? No. I don't think... Man, I don't uh, think so. Yeah, if it would far. be, it, it's too dumb. It's yeah. too dumb. Yeah, it's too in your face. And for all the people that think they're smarter than Balenciaga and, uh, and all that shit by saying, oh, we finally caught him. All bro. right, bro. And people are on Twitter are like, if you see here, which kind of, they might be onto something. I don't know. But they're like, if you see here, like, you know, Balenciaga is spelled with two A's and fucking B A L L is the name of some demon from blah, blah, blah. From okay, that's, only that's, people, that's reaching. Only that's these reaching. people know about all these demons. But isn't it yeah. weird that they use two A's? Why would they do that? Balenciaga? That is odd. Yeah, something about like a demon that like preys on children or that's, something like that's that. That's reaching. Whatever they're doing is reaching. They always find something. I just something. feel like everything, like you said, Abby, because their image is so important, I feel like everything they do is 
they really like tinker yeah. and they really like have meetings and they're like, do you think it's a good idea? Do we need to change this? You yes. know what I mean? So that means, well, yeah, right. What you were saying, like, what, what I'm saying is like also a lot of people had to agree on this before it went out. So that yeah. means there were like all kinds of creative directors and people at the highest levels who were like, okay, let's put out this fucking line of fucking teddy bears wrapped in BDSM shit geared towards kids. I don't think it's BDSM. Either, I it's, 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 it, either, it's either not, way, it's, it's, it's creepy and to me, it sexualizes children. Okay. Yeah, because that, that's the strangest thing to me. Even if it's not pedophilia, it's still sexualizing children, which is so weird. It's definitely sexualizing children. Because the kids are dressed up like adults that have like just gone through something horrific or something. They look like they're all like tattered, but they're wearing like adult clothing and makeup and all this stuff. Okay. And the bears aren't in like gimp outfits. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> they don't have like a little bear, nipple tassels on. A bear with an a-, a fucking asshole. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like in like a really tight like leather suit but only his ass is exposed. Only his mouth is open. <laughs> only like his ass bu- and his mouth are unzipped. <laughs> Oh. The, it's not like that, but it is like a leather belt like tied around their necks, that and bear the kids are like holding it up his or mouth. something. That bear got a little dick in his mouth. <laughs> that bear is gay. <laughs> but so, but, so I don't. I, for uh, once again, I just don't see the reason for outrage because it's just it's advertising. And it's like, bro, if you don't like it, then just don't look at it. I mean, or just, just don't buy the product. Yeah. Just don't yeah. buy them. And yeah. most times with Balenciaga, the product is not for you. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah, don't, they don't advertise to us. That's for the people that see that and are like, that is art. Exactly. <laughs> whatever fucking, that is creativity. Whatever fucking rich piece of shit in New York that's buying that fucking Balenciaga shit, let me just say, you're a dumbass. No, they, they're strange. They fucking dropped a trash bag as like a handbag the other day. No, they didn't. Oh I swear, it was like It's like trash bag material or it just looks like it or what? It looked like a trash bag. <laughs> Bro, Balenciaga, they got it. Y'all got it. But you know what's crazy? They miss every time. The shit's not nice. Yeah, I mean, like the shoes look stupid, the, but some people like. I guess some, some people, people like are, it. Those really fat it. midsoles, you know the ones I'm talking about, the yeah. Fila ones with the with the really fat rubber bottom. That's Balenciaga. They make a million of those. They and, have so and many. People of them. are buying them, and they love them. Those fucking sock ones. Those are kind of cool. Those are kind of cool. But I don't like the sneakers that they've been doing recently, and all the other like clothing just looks Bro, like they charge the craziest Zara like three hundred dollars for a t-shirt. Do you guys remember that brand Ed Hardy? Yeah, mm-hmm. their T-shirts look like fucking Ed Hardy. They're just so trashy and stupid, like bedazzled up and bedazzled. shit. Yeah, they're just ugly as shit. And I'm like, bro, this is three hundred dollars. Like, what the fuck? I'd rather go also, buy a crazy. nice ass, just regular Nike tee, something comfortable, or like a Lululemon shirt, something yeah. comfortable just to fucking wear. You know? Yeah. And from what I remember, the uh, the the part of the advertising or the advertising campaign that had the the pedophilia shit in it mm-hmm. was a Balenciaga and Adidas campaign. Ooh, oh, uh, it was, it was with Adidas? Adidas has, and Adidas has been dodging. They haven't. You haven't heard nothing about Adidas. Adidas have I been haven't. trying their best to stay out of the limelight because There's they that. got Kanye going crazy, and then Kanye's got Balenciaga. <laughs> Kanye oh. and Balenciaga are boys. Little do people know, Adidas was founded by Nazis. Yes, it was Hugo Boss and all that bullshit. Yeah, oh, man. no, no, no. Uh, his brand. name was uh, but Adi, did, Adi Dassler, I think, was was the guy's fucking name. Adi he was. Da- he was a straight up Nazi. Did Nazis wear Adidas? <laughs> when they Probably, were, yeah. I don't know if they wore Adidas. They were and Ultra shit. <laughs> but I know for sure that dude was a big supporter of the Nazis. <laughs> Germany guys. <laughs> Germany. I know, man. <laughs> what a stain on y'all's Fucking reputation. Everything awkward. links back to Nazis. Everything old it involving has to. Germany. It, it has, has to because those were the most powerful people at the time. Yeah. Of course, so dude. It just all links back to And to all the rich and powerful people back then, all the influential people were like all right, I guess I'm down with this exactly. shit. Yeah, we and are we kind of the best, aren't we? we? Get the Jews <laughs> yeah. out, and we get all their money and all their businesses. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Imagine, here. imagine you're a fucking German clothes manufacturer, and, and then all of a sudden, all your Jewish counterparts, all your competitors are just gone. gone. You're like, dude, I'm up. Like this Nazi shit is what's up. Yo, like, let's, is, let's get rid of these guys. Hitler shows up at the factory like I need three hundred thirty million fucking jackets. They're like, absolutely. Absolutely. Buddy. Absolutely. absolutely. You got it, buddy. <laughs> I'm, and I'm the only guy who can make it because I'm not Jewish? Yeah. Okay, I, that's business for me. I will die for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so many situations like that, like that old, old money that comes from real fucked up stuff. Yeah. Like old slave owners that got paid reparations, bro, but like black people didn't get paid that reparations. That shit is still around in, still, now in this yeah. country, bro. And they made like some sort of successful business using that money, so now their ancestors are like rich as fuck, and you're like, bro, this is it's actually really messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and these people are so rich to this day. From doing re- like from completely exploiting people in the past, old money just finds a way to 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 survive through the the younger generations unless they fucking squander it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah unless you really fuck up and like 
you had just a really bad nephew who got a hold of the money and made like a really bad yeah. brand. That, that's <laughs> always the fear is they have one descendant that's just like a fucking drug addict or someone crazy and they just blow everything. Yeah. yeah. Like the fucking, uh, like what's his name? Like Sam Walton. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, has, I was going to Walton talk do? about Walmart. I was really about to. Like, what are you going to say about Walmart? Bro, what Walmart is has fumbled. They are shit now. Like oh. Walmart is horrible now. People still go to them though because like groceries. That's like the big thing. That's like one of the, their Man. main. That's like bolstering their shit as the groceries. That's the only thing holding them, like for them holding on right now because fucking at least in Houston in Texas H E B is ro- is fighting. Amazon got, nationally Amazon got Walmart on the ropes. Oh yeah, brother. Hold on, gotta give you a thing. <laughs> How can I open that the beer was bottle crazy. with no? <laughs> bottle Are you trying to open it with a fucking water bottle? <laughs> No, Amazon got Walmart on the ropes, though, man. <laughs> that was so funny. I thought it was a shot. I, I thought you were about to. I oh, thought you were pouring, you. like, Dos Equis in there or something. That's I was like, what the hell? <laughs> thank you, Jim. But, yes. That was hilarious. Yeah, Walmart's ass, though. Walmart so what, what did Sam Walton do? What did, he made all his money, you okay. know, uh, founded Walmart and made it a great business. And now he's giving it to his piece of shit kids. And they just don't know what to do with it. And they're just like just rich kids, right? Just spoiled rich oh, kids yeah, who yeah. don't they're know rich. what's going on. Yeah, they're dumb rich. So succession. We got succession going on. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> that show is amazing. Yeah. And accurate. <laughs> I gotta keep watching it. I've only seen like a few episodes. But that's that's a good I one. mean, that's the kind of money that like that will ruin your life. Like it, yeah. not ruin your life. It'll make your life amazing. But it'll ruin your head. Like it'll ruin your mentality on life. It'll ruin like what you think is wrong and right. You just have all the money to do literally whatever you want. Yeah. No one is ever gonna tell you no. Every door is open. So it's like why, how, why how, can't I do this? Yeah, how can you expect this person to be just a completely sincere, good person? Exactly. I would expect them to be kind of a piece of shit. If you're a billionaire, how, nothing is out of reach. Yeah. You can have... You can do whatever you, you want. You can fly your whole in, life. Bro, you can fly in three Romanian girls and shit on all of them. Yeah, be like, I love Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's like, all right, well, we got him flying in tonight. <laughs> We're going to fly him in tonight. <laughs> we just to, paid him a mil. He's coming. To work out in front of you. And if you want him to suck you off, it's going to be like another two mil. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he'll do it. He'll, he'll fucking do it. Do it. I've seen it. him. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him do it. He was referred over so here. Yeah, I mean, Dwayne that's the Rock like Johnson. endless money, dude. So like those people, I would imagine, are, are just pieces of shit. Yo, so yeah. do you guys, speaking of pieces of shit, do you guys know who the Liver King is? Oh, oh yeah. that motherfucker! All right, do you, do you guys know who he is? Though? Yeah, yeah, swole motherfucker who who basically has his old gimmick is is I eat raw meat and like completely carnivore, and I'm super swole because of it. Yeah, that that that's his gimmick. He's a, he's a he's like a fitness influencer, or whatever on YouTube. Yeah, and he lives by like the nine core ancestral tenets, and it's just like you know he's like, oh, I eat good, I eat liver, I eat fucking raw testicles, I eat raw <laughs> egg. No, seriously, oh. I saw a video of him eating raw testicle, and he's just like, I eat, factor. I eat fucking no, really, bro. I eat raw this, I eat raw that. Buy my raw and uh, uh, raw powered supplements, shit like that, right? And fucking Liver King, man, that was a fucking rip. It's a powerful one, dude. Liver King, basically, it was found out by a lot of people online. The guy's on fucking steroids, yeah, yes. right. And basically, how it leaked was everybody pretty much knew it, but it wasn't like he kept denying it because he kept basing like people would ask him and he'd be like, no, no, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm now natural, blah blah blah. Obviously, the guy's on fucking steroids. Fucking yoked. Yeah, fucking He's yoked, yoked to He's shit. Chained up and shit. It leaked steroid belly because he was fucking writing emails to like bodybuilding trainers, telling them his whole stack, like his whole everything he was on, yeah, all different shit he was on. Oh, and he was asking them how to safely like balance all that out and what he should add or what he should take away. So he gave them, <laughs> and he had blood results. So he had like everything, and he was sending that to like some bodybuilding trainer, and I guess that leaked online, uh-huh. and now it's all out. Like the guy was on steroids the entire fucking time. I mean, you have to expect that. And then also, if you're doing that, like, just get one personal trainer. Get one personal trainer that you are paying a lot of hush money to to not say a goddamn yeah. word. <laughs> if you want to play this off, don't be sending your old blood test results to a bunch of different people. Of course, it's gonna come out. Exactly. Yeah. And. and- no one should be following this guy. Bro, bro he's eating raw ball man. sacks. Guys, on you shouldn't be eating raw meat. <laughs> Thank you. That's crazy. Raw ball sacks? I you didn't know ball that. Raw ball sack <laughs> on fucking Instagram. And now you want me to follow you? Oh, I saw him take <laughs> two bites out of a testicle. <laughs> that is insane, bro. A big Not testicle. Bad. Oh, my. A big testicle. It was like a bull? It was like a bull testicle. It was like huge. It was like that big, bro. I'm good. It was like the size of a, of a PB football. Yeah, people are, people are taking that whole, like, primitive thing too far. Like... We gotta eat like like the fucking cavemen did. Like we gotta eat like fucking raw meat. Horrible you idea. You don't have to. Just cavemen, cook your shit, bro. Cavemen cook, died at like thirty shit. years old. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible <laughs> idea. You want to be a caveman and fucking die at twenty five? Yeah, bro. After one battle with a dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> or with a saber tooth tiger or whatever. Come on, ca- 
humans were not around the same time as dinosaurs. Okay, saber tooth <laughs> battling a woolly mammoth. You're, you're confirming the Christian values yeah, now. I'm, I'm oh confirming the Mesozoic or whatever it is. <laughs> and, uh, f- seriously, there's 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 people in Christianity who believe that humans and dinosaurs were around at the same time, which is hilarious. Which is very wrong. Imagine I mean, we would not be able to put up. We would get any lizard on. creatures, <laughs> like a giant fucking yeah, giant lizard creatures, and you're just walking around. Yeah. Dude, those things would destroy you. If King Kong has taught me anything, King Kong with Jack Black made by a, <laughs> uh, whatever his name is. What is it? Peter Jackson. Peter yeah. Jackson. Dude. Peter Jackson's the Peter best. Ja- what a fantastic movie, by the way. But really? those, Yeah. I love that movie, you never too. seen that movie? Bro, I fell asleep in that movie. Bro. That's a great movie, man. Once it's they take of- King Kong from the island, you can pass. But everything before that <laughs> is so, so, so well done. Everything on the island is great. Yeah. I fall asleep when they're on the island, and I wake up when King Kong is in New York. And he has the girl on top of the building. He's See, like, I'm gonna crush this bitch. Point, yeah, yeah, you're like, this is silly. Now he's like, there's there's like a bunch of moments where he's having like sentimental moments with this with this blonde woman, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like at an ice skating rink, and he's like <laughs> learning and that to movie? skate. Yeah, and like you know they're trying to no fucking way. No basically, way. when he shows up to New York, he breaks free, he gets the chick, and he's running around New York before they catch him doing stuff. And he's big, big. He's big as fuck. Yeah, he's he's big like like. A fucking metro bus standing up and then the same width, <laughs> like that square. Yo. And so he'll find like a fucking lake and like they'll chill out for a second and the police show up and then they run somewhere else and they police show up and then he goes with them. Okay, yo, so building. what's the deal? Does he want to fuck this chick? Why, <laughs> why did he real? fucking grab her, He wants bro. to fuck the chick. No, I, I think it's like a, like a security thing, but it's like... It, you know what now is he King saving her from? What is he protecting her from? He wants to fuck that girl. That's exactly. What he's, yeah, <laughs> Look, he King doesn't Kong. want other guys to fuck her. And he she's kind of down. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of down. She's kind of down. She's like, stop, don't do it. I love him. <laughs> basically, no, but, I love she, him. but she basically like loves him like a pet. Like she's a, flattered by it. She's flattered. by it. <laughs> Bro, if King Kong Fucking stuck his girl, penis man. inside that woman, she would die. Bro, she'd be dead. She'd be split in half. It's a really good movie though. If y'all haven't seen it, no, I've seen <laughs> that's how we even got. Wait, are they really at a roller rink? They're like a, they they find themselves like on a frozen lake and he, oh, okay. he's like sliding on it and she's okay. like look she's like you know learn how okay to- dude the way you portrayed it I imagine them like in a public like a fucking public ice skating yes, rink they together are. they are like they're at fun place <laughs> they're at a park in New York where the ice is frozen and they're just in a, in a just a regular and public park and there's people there yeah but the thing is like at this point everyone has run away and like is hiding in their houses because Bro, King Kong is on the loose there is no way the ice would be able to to support King Kong fuck no dude he's huge. <laughs> Fuck no. Wait, so this was <laughs> this was in the th- <laughs> this is in New York in this broad daylight. Is, this is New York in the broad daylight in the thirties, right? Th- something like that. It's like, like in the thirties, those old 20s? school Auga cars. Those yeah, cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before they had like that tampered glass, and this is just like the window glass. That <laughs> oh my fucking! No gosh, seat belts, bro. no nothing. It's a really good movie though. Like the scenes that they show, <laughs> because they show a lot of scenes with like big bugs and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. like a whole scene where they're in this like ta- they're like in this crevice and they're hiding out for the night and they've been battling dinosaurs and shit for the day trying to hide and like okay that's cool basically the point is they're trying to find this creature they find out that they've showed up on an island where some crazy shit is happening but the fucking person running the whole thing is jack black yeah. and he wants to keep it going like he wants to keep the cameras running like the show must go on so they're trying to record everything at the same time while trying to stay alive and people are starting to fight amongst each other and be like hey we need to leave i don't know why we're here anymore yeah. and then another half is like we need to stay here like this is amazing like the people got to see this oh my god bro, and uh they're hilarious. like hiding out in this tavern and at night, all these bugs come out of the wall, basically, and they're like in this deep canyon, and they're trying to fight these bugs off. An absolutely fantastic scene, bro. Man, you gotta you, watch that movie. You have a good memory of that, man. You, when's the last time you watched that? Probably like 2018, but I, I've watched that movie maybe like five times, and I played the video game on PS2. I played oh. I play the video <laughs> game a lot too, man. I don't remember it like that. I mean, that's a that's a legitimately that movie's more than three hours long. It is. Yeah, that it's really for sure long, more than bro. three hours long. And it's the last 45 minutes when he gets the blonde chick where like, you're like, what's going on? Dog, I was asleep in the theater watching that shit. And you know what's even crazier? The new Kong versions where it's Kong where he's huge like he's a fucking skyscraper. Fuck. Like like 15 times the other King Kong. Yeah. And he still likes the blonde bitch. Yeah. How? He has a type. It's like the size of his <laughs> pinky nail. He has a type, bro. <laughs> a How can type. you even see her? Yeah, he's like, it's basically <laughs> like holding bro. up like a fire <laughs> ant. <laughs> his dick would kill her. <laughs> his dick. Bro, if he just dropped it on top of her, <laughs> bro, that's it. it. He would be dead. It, it would destroy a car. Her. <laughs> he could crush. He could take his dick and just flop it on her and crush her. It'd be done, dude. He could swing that thing around New York and absolutely level like <laughs> half the place. Yeah. Oh and somehow God. that's still going on. Have y'all seen that new Transformers uh, trailer? That no, shit they bat bat shit insane. What? It looks batshit insane. Another is speaking oh, of King Kong because no. there's a so they're doing the the Age of Beasts now instead yes. of the dinosaurs. Oh my God. So there's a King Kong looking Transformer. 
And there the kid, is a fucking gorilla transformer. It's like a gorilla. They have like a cheetah. King, uh, listen, man. Transformers. They did a real good job with those first three. It's but they dropped the ball with the rest of them. They just suck. Go. They just suck. To it's me, I to only like the first one. And that was only because of Megan Fox, honestly. Yeah. And Shia. Shia is a fucking man. That's a, that's her breakout role. First time I saw Megan Fox on screen, I had feelings I never had before. I was, <laughs> yeah, bro. I was creaming my little pants, man. Yeah. Fucking oh, yeah, ten she was bent all over in front yeah. of the car. Oh, She's leaning over like, God. see, it's a carburetor. And I'm like, <laughs> Yo, I'm like why is this bitch's back sweating? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> and Shia somehow just made off with it. And yeah, Bro, everybody is sweaty in that movie. They Everyone's are. so oh, sweaty. They you didn't shower the whole time. Yeah, bro. It seems like a dirty movie. It's yeah. a very dirty movie. That's one of those crazy movies that's hard to do nowadays because it's so unbelievable. These robots crash yeah. from Earth. They transform into cars. And somehow they're sneaking around the city. They're huge. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and they make a lot of noise when they're transforming. <laughs> and it seems insanely expensive to yeah. do. Yeah. Like, it seems ridiculously expensive. Like the CGI? Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. it's all CGI. The whole thing. Yeah. 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 yeah Michael Bay's a sick fuck. Because <laughs> the nasty whole fucking guy, bro. thing, they're like in Egypt and some of them just blowing shit up. It's all fucking CGI because none of it's real. Did you ever see the video of Michael Bay? He was giving like a speech at some like public forum or something, and he kept fucking up the speech. Like, he kept messing it up. Like, he was trying to read it. And he kept messing up how he was like enunciating words, like saying it. Yeah. And he was like, fuck. And then he just left. No way. So it was like a very public place. And he just messed up the speech. And he was like, and he just fucking walked out. Oh my God. He just fucking toddlered it. Yeah. He's fucking like a baby. He just, he just fuck it. it. You know? Fuck yeah. it. And he just he walked away. Yeah. He walked out like a baby, bro. I was like, man, what a child. Oh, also, it's like they can't tie their shoe. They yeah, can't, bro. He can't get it right. And they're like, why won't the cap screw back on? Incredibly <laughs> angry and just walked out. Also, Michael Bay might be uh, another anti Semite. Is no he? way! What did yeah. he do? That's what Megan Fox is like mad at him about. I'm uh, trying to remember that's what. That's why there were swastikas on the Transformers. <laughs> 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 well, I just figured it out. <laughs> I just figured it out. It's fucking Hitlertron. <laughs> did, did you guys? <laughs> Hitlertron. I transform into showers. <laughs> did you hear <laughs> into a Panzer? <laughs> a Panzer tank. Transform into showers. <laughs> did you guys see the trailer for the new Mario movie with starring Chris Pratt? It looks cute. Oh, no, I have Bro, it. Bro, it, it looks cute. It looks cute. His he's, voice is horrible he's for Mario. He's talking like a New Yorker, right? Like a, just a New Yorker? No, he's, he's Chris Pratt. He just sounds oh. like Chris Pratt. So he's just talking like Chris Pratt. Yeah, he's like, I, well, he says to you like, well, here we go. You know what I mean? Like He sounds, oh, like, yeah, he sounds like that. Bro, he does not sound like Mario at all. I'm sick of it, dude. I'm sick of these fucking movies, guys. Like, I don't want a live action fucking Mario. But guess what? It's going to make a fuck ton of money. It uh, Will it, though? Yes. I it think will. it will. It yeah, has it an will. audience, it man. Will. They have their pre-built audience. I was hoping that Lion King movie failed and fell on its face, and it nah. didn't. It didn't. Of course it's it Disney, didn't. bro. Disney never fails. They don't fail. They failed recently with that Strange World movie. I heard that movie was bad. Oh, you know yeah, it had yeah. an openly gay character? It did. That might have been why it failed. Yeah. Had an openly gay character, and apparently it talked a lot about climate change, which is okay, but oh, I heard the nah. movie just wasn't good. When the movies are too like judgy, or they have too much of like a predisposition... Or like some kind of message, people just are not gonna fuck with that. Yeah. yeah, it gets old because the adults watching it are getting tired of it. Exactly. Because I get it. Like e- climate change is one of those things which is funny because it's like either you know it's happening and like you stand behind it, or you're like, oh, I'm so sick of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the kids are like, I don't even get the message. So like, this isn't good for me. So, so who's it's not it good for, for anybody? Yeah. yeah who's it like, for? The movies for? I don't know. But yeah, I'm tired of these fucking movies, dude. I don't want a, a Mario. I don't want a Mario movie with Chris Pratt and Jack Black. And I love Jack Black. But God damn it. Jack Black's in it? Yeah, he's, he's Bowser. Yeah. I like Jack Black, man. I do too, but like... It looks... I go Keegan lie. Michael Key is... T- it's like, what's happening? What are we doing, You're going to go pay... You're going to pay I'm 10, not paying money to go watch see it. it? No, no, watch no, it legally? No, 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 no. I I'll, I'll probably won't even watch it at all, but it looks cute. All right, you support it, though, from the side. Yeah, lines. I support it. It looks like a fun time. I mean, okay, that one... The toads look cute. I don't know, man. Maybe Mario, I guess, maybe. It's just like all the Disney ones have left me with too sour of a taste in my mouth. Now, all the you, other ones. It's not a Disney movie, though. It's like uh. It's like Illumination, I think. Yeah, it's one of those other brands. It's not yeah. Disney. But if you had a child, would you take your child to see it? Maybe Strange if I like Mario. Only if they are no, Mario. World, uh, the Mario movie. Only if they asked me to. Okay. I wouldn't seek it out naturally. I'd take my child to see some shit like, I don't know, like something dark. I don't think Mario <laughs> is like, I, I, I want them to see some mature shit, you know? Something something interesting. Something that's going to fucking make them think. I'm trying to think of a movie that came out that's dark. Yeah, recently. I was trying to. Barbarian. Barbarian. <laughs> take a see Barbarian. <laughs> take it. Click I have nightmares. <laughs> it's two naked dudes fighting for like <laughs> fucking who gets to pillage whose village or something. Oh I don't my know. God. Dude, oh man. Guys, I, I saw this fucking amazing movie. It's called The Wander. It's with Florence Pugh. And also by the Netflix. way, yeah. Uh, yeah. Florence Pugh. I'm starting to have 
a Hollywood crush on her, man. Oh, she's she's, she's a cute lady. chick, bro. She's, she's a cute looking. chick, dude. I've been on this. She yeah. looks good, man. She's yeah. like, she has not to sound fucking dirty or objective as a male, but she has a nice body, man. She's a good looking chick. She's gorgeous. She she's does a great looking chick. Anyways, she's a great actress too. In this movie, she plays a nurse in like early. It must have been like 1930s, like England. Yeah. And they send her to like this remote village outside of like Scotland or Ireland or somewhere. And they basically paid her to come and observe this girl who they're claiming has not eaten anything for four months. Mm. They're saying this girl has survived on like, she's just survived on like manna from heaven, like from Jesus or whatever, right? Okay. She looks skinny or she just looks like a regular person? She looks kind of regular, mm-hmm. which is like, why Florence Pugh's character is like suspicious because she's like, she's a nurse. She's like, in the medical field, she's very objective. She's very like scientific in her reasoning and shit. And she's like, there's no way this is bullshit. I'm going to watch this fucking kid. And the whole movie is like her observing this kid to figure out if the kid is actually like you know blessed from jesus and they don't have to eat yeah or if it's like the family secretly feeding them or some shit it's an amazing movie it's so, okay what's the name of it the wonder <sighs> okay i almost want you to spoil it but i'm sure nah, there's, nah, there's, I would there's actually too much that goes this. into it yeah it's honestly it, it is a lot that goes into it i'd watch this one this is a good one what, right. what's the genre that's a hard one to narrow down is it scary is it yeah is it supernatural or is no, this I wouldn't say thriller? I wouldn't say supernatural. I would say thriller. Okay. Suspense. Suspense and thriller. Okay. okay. I can do that. That's it. I wouldn't say it's a horror. I would They're say doing sus- some devil shit. They gotta be. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they're secretly feeding the kid. <laughs> which has gotta be what's well, one of those two things. You gotta Either watch the movie to find out. The devil is present or this family's feeding this child. <laughs> it was an amazing movie. I watched it during my little uh, my little COVID streak that I had recently, man. Oh yeah. I need to watch more movies, man. I still haven't seen Wakanda. Yeah. So I haven't seen Glass Onion. We oh, heard, we heard, we heard what Gio said about. Bro, I haven't Wakanda. seen. Gla- well, Glass Onion hasn't come out. Gio, on you got Netflix some, you got some people mad about your, what you said about Wakanda. Fuck them. <laughs> were they, they were <laughs> mad in the comments? I think a few people. That was like one comment. This chick was. I think she was like, "He don't know what he's talking about" or some Man, shit like fuck that. Fuck that movie, bro. <laughs> Man, listen, fuck Shuri. Okay, <laughs> fuck that movie. Bro. I haven't even seen the movie, but I just know without Chadwick, it's a toughie. And they should have. They should have. Restructured a little more. They shouldn't have just worked with what they had. Like fuck the, the cast without man, Chadwick. S- Let's just make it. Seeing work. clips of him makes me sad, man. There's a clip of him saying like, "Oh, I'm gonna die" or something like. I think he was talking about the movie in reference to the movie. He was saying like, "I'm gonna die." Yeah. Oh, I'm dead in the movie, and I was like, "Oh, that hurts because he's gonna die in real life." Bro, yeah. that shit sucks, bro. Oof. What a what a trooper, bro. I mean, speaking of Marvel, did y'all hear about how they're gonna change the the way the phases are going? So you know they have what the phases. Yeah. So like the first phase was like Iron Man, and then building up all these characters. And the second phase was, I guess, all the all the sequels. And the third phase was supposed to be like Infinity War and Endgame and all that. Yeah. When like the whole thing came to like a, a an explosion, the the climax. And now that they're going back down, and everything is kind of settled in the in that universe. They're building everything back up with all these new characters, with like a the chick that was in Doctor Strange. I forget who the one who could do the multiverse shit. America, Ant Man, all that yeah. bullshit. So now they're saying that they're gonna change the way like Phase Five and Six are gonna go because people are not liking the way Phase Four is going. Bro, Phase Four was ass. Yeah, because if you really think about it, all these characters they really are just out for like selfish gain. It's but, all for just them. Like they all have their own self interest. Who None was of them Phase really Four? A team. Phase Four was Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I Moon know. Knight, like Moon Knight, Hawkeye and shit. But like, Fucking, but the, the oh, other Black kind of Widow Hawkeye. was in that shit. Yeah, it's, oh my, that's whack as shit. Too many people that like you don't know who they are. Like this, this fucking multiverse girl. It's like you don't like her. I don't like her. Do you like her? She was cool. She was all right. If y'all want me to have a real hot, a hot take about Marvel, bro? The best, the only Marvel show that was actually good was She Hulk. All she the other Marvel shows bad. were ass. A lot of people are talking that hot shit about She Hulk. Uh, she Hulk was good. It was girly, but it was also pretty funny. I can't I had a make great myself time. watch a She Hulk show. I had a fantastic time it's watching It's fun She-Hulk. because it's silly. It was very silly. It's too much when they do shit like Moon Knight, where he's like strapping up his gloves and like, I'm going to go in this museum and beat the fuck out of 50 people. But, and it's like, it's just cheesy. My thing about Marvel is that they will have a great idea and they will not follow through with that idea. No. Nah. Like the Moon Knight shit could have been really good, but then they just like. They don't know how to end it, or they don't know what to do with it. And none of it ties into each other. It's all its own standalone things, and it's not going to make sense when they try to bring them all together to fight some big evil, which is, I think, Kang. I agree that like the the initial ideas. Oh, sorry, I forgot about I forgot about Loki. Loki's a good show. Loki is one of their best ones. That's that's their best. Loki's a great show. With like Moon Knight, like I agree with what Gio said. Like the ideas are cool. Like I watched the first episode of Moon Knight, and I was like, bro, this seems awesome. Yeah. And I kept I kept trying to watch the rest of it, and I was like, I can't get into this. Yeah. Something about it was just. I don't know. It just didn't have. It, there's nothing that made me want to keep watching it. They just don't need full shows with multiple seasons. They don't need just that many. One shows. movie, 
or fucking throw two of them in one movie or something. It's just, it's you just know? too it's just too big of a fucking whale at this point. And they're trying to introduce too many characters that in the comics I don't think mesh with each other. So now they're just introducing character after character that they think is interesting, like yeah. Moon Knight and shit, who aren't even that big of an important role in the comics, but they're a role for sure. Yeah. And so now it's like you got all these strong ass characters like fucking Wanda and like Moon Knight and all these people who are in the comics are really strong. And it's like, how are they all going to tie into each other? Exactly. How is this going to work? It doesn't make any sense. Man, I don't know. I, so now they're trying to change it. because, bro. So <laughs> I, was listening, I was watching Family Guy, like a new episode, mm-hmm. and they were talking about like... I think he was talking to God or something, and he was telling him, like, how many Marvel movies have you made? And it was, like, 26, and we have 14 on the way. <laughs> Bro, they have so... Jesus. Like, you know when they release their slate for the next, like, two years or yeah. whatever? It's always, like, fucking, like, 12 more. Yeah. And you're like, what, what is this? Secret War? Secret Wars 3? Fucking... That's, that's going to be, like, their Avengers thing. Secret Wars is going to be cool. I hope. Yeah. I hope. Okay, sorry to interrupt you guys. I have a breaking Kanye post. I just... <laughs> what did he do? He posted this on Instagram. Kanye said... I'm gonna I'm gonna read the whole thing first, oh, all right? And then, and then, all right. This is a Kanye post. Oh, Kanye. Am I the only one who thinks Elon could be half Chinese? Oh Question my mark. god! <laughs> Have you ever seen his pics as a child? Take a Chinese genius and mate them with a South African supermodel, and we have an Elon. I say an Elon because they probably made ten to twenty, thirty Elons, and he's the first genetic hybrid that stuck. Well, let's not forget about Obama. I'm oh. sorry for using curse words at church, oh but I don't have another word for Obama yet. Oh, yo. Let, yay 24. <laughs> let's unify and find out. L-U-A-F-O. I don't even know. Laufo? Maybe, I think maybe he meant to put M. I, if he I meant bro, to do that. He is off the deep end. He man. said, I'm sorry for using curse words in church, but I don't have another word for Obama. You what did Obama do to him? Curse words in church, bro. <laughs> Obama never liked him. I mean, yeah, but this is you saying his name is a curse word? He just tossed Jesus out Obama Christ. for no reason, dude. He just tossed. Obama's sitting at home, just chilling, drinking like a smoothie, and he's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, Chris Paul, Obama, he's just throwing random black people he's, under the yeah. bus. He's going against Elon now. They were cool for a minute, and then Elon threw him off Twitter, and now yeah. he's fucking, he's against Elon. Before he, before he got suspended, he put up a picture of Elon on a boat looking real bad built. Looking look, looking like a fridge. He's built <laughs> like a fridge. Built Bro, like Kanye a fridge. Built, Kanye built bad, too. Kanye is kind of built. Well, now, like, he he used to be a beefier dude, but I think now he's just getting chunky. Now but he, but he wears old. like all kinds of big shit that you can't see it. He's yeah. just older now. He's just a dad. Now he just looks like a robot because he has the mask on and he has the really fat boots yeah. to the point where like his fucking like his thighs and his ankles look like they're the same width. <laughs> so he just looks like he looks like a robot. I don't like the way he dresses anymore. I don't either. It's too I, much. I used to like his like how innovative he was with his shit. Nah, now. I think it's just it's this lame. Bro. I don't fuck with the fucking dark Balenciaga boots. The fucking I don't know. He just he just looks like an extra from the Dark Knight. Yeah, Nothing is good anymore, bro. He looks like a dude who's trying to copy Kanye West. Like his yeah. style. He looks like exactly. a worse version of that. Exactly. Sheesh, man. It's I mean, sad. No, this is it, bro. Like I think we're watching the real firecrackers right now. Like the finale's coming up. Like he's the gonna finale's coming up. He said the Hitler shit was bad. Was really bad. Now I think he's like. We're just really gonna fucking so sabotage. Does this himself. end with him killing himself, or does this end with him in a mental hospital? Does it end with him going deeper down the rabbit hole? Like, I think he just ends end? up like mega isolated. Yeah, to the point where like social media won't even allow you to like post him. Like he can't say anything to the public anymore. It'll all be like Kanye said to TMZ, blah blah blah, or some yeah. bullshit. Like he won't even be able to post himself. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Bro. Because he's going to keep saying crazy things. He's called call Elon Chinese. And he keeps getting more and more views. So <laughs> no, he of course said, he's going to do it. He said they made Elon. He said they made him. <laughs> like he, was a, he was a Chinese. He was made by the Chinese. <laughs> what on fucking earth is going you know on? What, you know all that he, like, the only reason he said that, because he thought Elon looks a little Chinese. Hey, so you know, know he's like, hey, you know what's funny? Him. He you know what's funny? Little, he looks a little Chinese. Look I'm not going to agree with Kanye, but... Stay with Kanye. Yeah. Yay 24, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Bao. Yay 2024. He looks... Elon looks a little Chinese. Who are we kidding? Yeah. He does Elon look looks Chinese. disgusting. Just a little bit. Kanye's he, just getting, like, conspiracies on a board and throwing Are you saying no, Chinese no, no, people no. look disgusting? I'm saying Elon looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks like Winnie, he does look like Winnie the Pooh. He does. He felt real strange. He looks yeah. weird, bro. He's a strange... I mean, maybe they made him. <laughs> maybe they made. I don't know. They man. fucking cooked him up in a laboratory. <laughs> maybe Kanye's got the right idea. Someone pull up what Elon's parents look. You like. You guys ever really? seen a video of Chinese Elon? 
No. It's like no. some Chinese guy fucking look at just like Elon talking about Tesla and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like fa- he's like one of those fake celebrities. Yeah, he's not, he goes he's not, out and like speaks to the public and acts like Elon. Yeah, yeah. He looks just like he looks like a really skinny version of Elon. Bro, that's, that's some fucking funny. It's bro. hilarious. There's people that do that all the time. The Clay Thompson dude. Yeah. That, that, that dude got crazy. into a bunch of games looking like Clay Thompson. They kicked yeah. him out of the, the championship. Bro, I would milk that shit. If oh, I yeah. look like somebody, I'm milking that and shit. And you'd be surprised how many people are like, that's him. Yeah. Or like that's Drake. He'll he'll pull up and he's like six two and they're like tall enough that's clay that's clay thompson dude even though clay thompson's like six seven or something yeah, he's, he's a fucking giant <laughs> they did the same thing with drake drake would go out to like new york or something it'd be like a fake drake he'd go out yeah. to the streets and like drake's people a, would be taking pictures of them well shit. drake's the easy one to fake man i feel yeah. like a lot of biracial dudes no offense to biracial dudes i love biracial dudes they're part of a community just like us i feel like a lot of biracial dudes look like drake like that's yeah. just the, their look, and then all they have to do is just you know put the little heart in their hair or some shit, and, and that's get it. The same haircut and the beard. The yep, rock. That's too. all they need. I saw like a fake Dwayne the Rock, and I think that's also probably an easy one. You get the tats, you shave your head, you get swole, you kind of look like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. The, yeah. the size is all you need. The size is the hard part. But the that's rock, the hard part. That's yeah. the hard part. It's the it's size. Just, you got to get big like the rock. Fucking gosh, bro. Hey man, it's it's making me sad what, what's going on with Kanye. I mean, at this point, it's a joke, so I have no real sentiment towards this, but. If I would have been asleep for the last two months and you told me about this today, I would it would have really bummed me out. <laughs> yeah. At this imagine. point, he's like softened the blow enough because he said so many things where I'm like, all right, well, this is just expected. But if you would have just told me this like three months ago, I would have been like, oh, dude. I think he deserves everything he's going to get soon. <sighs> and it's coming. And it's coming. And Hellfire like, is coming. Free you know what's crazy? It's already happened. He lost a billion dollars in a day. Yeah. yeah. He They're lost talking about like IRS freezing his accounts and shit. Yeah, okay, bro. that part is a little crazy to me. But yeah. everything else, like socially and shit like that, like he deserves it. I Doesn't think- he owe like 50 mil in like back taxes and shit? I, I don't know, but like I didn't that. read about that. I'm not sure. All I know is like JP Morgan like froze his accounts. A few other banks froze his accounts. That is like, that is crazy. He That's doesn't have good. his Adidas shit's gone, his Balenciaga shit's gone. I don't know how he's operating at this point. Like I where is either. he getting cash flow from? It's I don't know. Koala. Well, he still has money. I mean, uh, nah. Remember he tried to sell his catalog like a couple months ago? You talking about when he was selling everything for like twenty dollars? <laughs> no, no, no. But he's been doing that. Where it's like <laughs> he's been opening up pop up shops where he's selling like Balenciaga, like oh, like his like that his branded shit. Yeah, like like thousand yeah. dollars shirts that he just put like yay twenty four on. And oh, he's selling them for like sad. twenty bucks. That's and really sad. Of course they're selling out, but like I don't know what I don't know what the end game is for this. He's trying to like. Act like he's a man of the people, and he's trying to like you know promote his his twenty twenty four run. I don't know what it is. We well, need his, money, but this is not good. Yeah, for you, him. if you're not gonna good. run a campaign, you need money. And also, like his whole view is like he's trying to, from what I got from the Alex Jones interview to revisit that. His whole thing is like he's trying to like be a holier than thou like Jesus figure, yeah. and he's trying to say. Like, it's okay for him to have love for the Nazis because Jesus loved everybody. Like, Jesus loved all the sinners and everybody who did wrong. I'm just like, bro, first of all, you're not Jesus. Second of all, like, by you, like, saying you love Nazis, it it portrays your message incorrectly. Exactly. Like, I get what you're trying to say. Like, when he, what he should say properly is, like, I have love for all people. Like even if they've done Just wrong, don't mention the Nazis. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. don't you don't, <laughs> you don't even say, bring them up. You don't have to say Nazis specifically, bro. <laughs> all you have to say up. is I have love for all people, regardless of who they are, and that's who I am. I have love for everybody. You know that's what? All that's, you gotta say. You know that's like that's why that. when somebody says, "Oh, I have love for everybody else," and then Alex Jones says, "Oh, even the Nazis." That's why you gotta be like, "Ah, ha, ha, ha." Yeah. It's a jokey joke, funny joke. Kanye was like, "Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. yes, <laughs> you get it, Alex." <laughs> yes, absolutely. Those are my guys. <laughs> those are my guys. The Nazis. Those are my guys. You ever? Seen a video of Hitler giving a speech? <laughs> it's powerful. <laughs> He's doing a good job. <laughs> Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Man, he was off that fucking meth. <laughs> oh my fucking god. He was off gosh, them pills bro. and shit. I don't know what. I don't even know if he's taking anything. It's a scary part. I bet you he's not taking anything. You, know, you don't think he was yeah. taking anything? You don't think he's off them drugs? I don't no. think he's on anything, bro. That's a scary part. I think he's just, just right now. He's just like tweaking. He's just naturally tweaking. Just fueled off his fucking rage of not getting into art school and one nut. <laughs> Just one nut. Oh, are you talking oh, about Kanye? Kanye? Are you, are you talking about Kanye? I'm talking about Adolf Hitler. <laughs> oh no, Hitler was on drugs. No, Hitler, Hitler was on drugs. drugs. <laughs> Kanye, I think he's I think he's stone cold sober, and I think he's staying up all night with crazy things bouncing around his head. Crazy things with crazy people just telling him like, yeah, yeah, you got the right thing in mind, and bro. And he's just all by himself, laying on his back in his fucking double king size bed, just like staring at the ceiling, just like you know what. The Nazis are all right. <laughs> the, Nazis are, the, Nazis, the Nazis are all right. And fuck Chris Paul. Fuck Chris Paul, man. Fuck Obama, man. Fuck oh Obama. But I like Hitler. He, Hitler's all right with me. <laughs> like a poster of Hitler on his wall. Oh <laughs> He's just like, 
Yeah, that's like funny that to. he's <laughs> taking issue with Obama, but Hitler's okay. But it Hitler's makes gone. no <laughs> sense, dude. Hitler's okay, but Obama is the the devil. Bro, this I dude wonder is gone, bro. If he's around by 2024, I wonder what that's going to be like. Like, I Ew. wonder if he's going to have enough steam to run, and if he runs, what is he going to say? He sounds because you remember the first time he ran. Oh, he, bro, he had a breakdown. We almost yeah. had we almost had North aborted, and I'm like, bro. My dad almost got me a board. You know, that, that's he's in a room with like 50 white people just saying this. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? That, that's what I think about all this, too. Speaking of North, like, what are his kids? Like, I don't like even know. So his oldest kids at this point are like, they're more than double digits. I think two of them, like North and the other one. What do they think at this point? Like, they're not dumb. They they have their phones. They can look shit up. Like, I'm like, they're like yeah. what the fuck is going on with my dad, man? They like, know what, what a Nazi is. What and is they know <laughs> what their dad yes. said. <laughs> what is he saying? Not even that. It's like, imagine going to school. Like every day, and your, your dad is saying that, shit. and, and you're you a have a Jewish school? classmate, oh and their parents God. are like te- telling them everything about the Nazis and Holocaust, and like you tell that fucking North girl, <laughs> she could shove it up her ass. <laughs> yeah. The kids are innocent, though. Bro, that's fucking they are. They are. Yeah, they just they, they can't choose who they're fucking born to. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and I don't think any, has he even seen his kids. Like, are there pictures of him and his kids? There was a kid. With, there's a picture of him with North recently. They mu- they must have been. Hanging out, or something. I don't think he should be allowed. At this point, I don't think he should be allowed to see his fucking kids. He should yeah. not be in front of a camera. Him and Kim's yes. lawyers must be going at it behind the scenes. Like, Absolutely, yeah, they must be bro. Going at they're it. They're probably trying to take full custody. Like they're probably trying to take everything from him. Like you yeah. can no longer see your kids ever oh, again. Speaking of Kardashian, shit. dude, I mean, you know, you have a whole image to uphold. It's not like I care about the Kardashians, but like in their perspective, this must be absolutely insane. They must be like on the edge of their seat. Like, what the fuck is this guy? Oh, is yeah. he gonna say like Kim did this and then fucking release like pictures of something? Or you know, nah. he, you know, he's got some skeletons about Kim in his closet. Oh, of course. But man. I think like, the he thing has is, to know some shit. I think they're distancing, like they're distancing themselves. But it's also very easy to be like, oh, he's uh, he's crazy right now. Yeah, we're just gonna let him be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, you can't blame them for anything. You could just be like, he's crazy. I'm gonna say Omar squishy in a little bit. Yeah. Oh my bad. Yeah, the frame, baby. Pete Davidson it. done ruined this man's life. <laughs> Pete Davidson came in with his dead eyes and long <laughs> dick. <laughs> and came in and absolutely fucked Kim's brains Bro. out and fucking cu- fuck Kanye's brains out, too. You know what's crazy? <laughs> and then moved, and Not then physically, he, though. Emotionally. And then he moved on to Emrata. And, and then moved on to Emily Ratachikoski. Oh, my God, bro. What a fucking Oh, guy. I think I know who she is. You know who she is. Yeah. From that Robin Thicke video. Yes. Man, Fine as hell. He's fucking all the chicks, this Pete. He is fucking bro, all Davis the chicks. Guy, man. His jersey is in the rafters, bro. Hall, Hall of Fame. Fame. Yeah. Hall of Fame. He must be a really cool guy. He's he has a be. mean man, penis. Yeah. He was with Kim for like a year, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he was fucking this bitch. And they broke he up, and he didn't even give a shit. He just went on to the next person, and he found the next, the next Kim. Yeah, to be honest, and she's a step up from Kim. And she's a step up. Bro. And Kim is, if anything, Kim, Kim is on the backslide. She, yeah, she's in her forties. She's still hot, but she's she's in her forties at this point. It's only downhill from here. It yeah. never. It just doesn't go up. Yeah, she's Apple. She's Apple stock right now. Yeah, I mean Kim Kardashian. Nah, Apple ain't only downhill from here. Chill <laughs> out, man. They got they got cool shit. You think Apple's going down? No, nah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Those motherfuckers. Are but going he up. did. He got in like at a good time where she was single. You know, yeah. she a little bit oldest, but hey, he fucked her. Got out of there before the Kanye he stuff. Before it got too crazy, he got in a good time. Yeah, he got in a good time, and he completely broke Kanye, and so that just that just makes him look even cooler. He exactly. fucking sent Kanye <laughs> a picture of himself in. Kim's bed. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. And the whole that time, he took the high road. So it makes him even cooler. Yeah. <laughs> he really did. Even when he messaged Kanye, he didn't say anything too disrespectful. He was just yeah. like, oh, the most disrespectful thing he said was, I'm in your wife's bed. But yeah. besides that, he was like, dude, I think you need help. Yeah, That's he all was he like, said. I'm in your wife's bed. He's like, I'm going to leak his address. Fucking kill him. That's what Kanye said. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Pete Davidson was like, I'm in your wife's bed. Like, it was real mild stuff. And then Kanye's like, I'm going to fucking murder this guy. <laughs> yeah, Pete Davidson completely ruined. Kanye, I think, because Bro, I think crazy. that completely killed his ego. And once his ego was broken, that's when he's like, "I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna out all her shit." Yeah. And once he's saying all the crazy shit, then he's like, "You know what? I'm on the crazy side. Like this is, I, I can say this now because I'm not like constrained by the Kardashians anymore." So now he's just like having a fucking field day. He's a guy that just got out of the asylum with a bunch of money in his pocket. Yeah, Man. I think that's, that's how he sees it. He's just like the Kardashians can't tell me what to do. Elon can't tell me what to do. No one can tell me what to do. That's his thing. He's like, he wants to have complete freedom of like. I want to say whatever the fuck I want. I want to believe whatever the fuck I want, no matter how crazy it is. And I want to spew this shit to the people that follow me so that they can reaffirm what I believe. Just and at what cost, bro? Yeah. Like, what are you getting out of this? Everything. But Hope, a, a, the president. cost is everything. The, cost, <laughs> everything. the presidency, that's what he wants. Yeah. Because those if you kids, think bro, back in Hitler is your way to the fucking White House, <laughs> you are insane. You know what's wild, though? I bet there's a small population of the world, or the, the U.S., that watched that and was like, he's got a... He's got, 
I've been saying this, guys. <laughs> I've been saying this. <laughs> Yay has a good point. Yay has a good point. You know, those Jews in, in Hollywood. <laughs> it's like, <Bro. clears throat> I like Hitler now. I mean, what a, what a leap, dude. What a leap. And the, and the crazy thing is people on Twitter, some people do back him up. Because they're stupid. Idiots. Yeah, they're like, did you know this? And like, they start trying to put some Wikipedia facts out. And I'm like, bro, what... What do you do at your house? What kind of person are you? Man, like, you go out sad. into the regular world and act like a normal human? <laughs> it's ridiculous, You talk to your parents man. with that mouth? Yeah, you fucking lizard person. You coming out here saying lizard crazy conspiracy things? <laughs> you know, they didn't make a few Elons. If you look at this, <laughs> there's this guy in South Africa that looks exactly like Elon. And, like, it's... They created him. Yeah, it's created crazy, him. man. He's, he's created a Chinese fucking test subject. But I think slowly he's even losing those people. Slowly, people are being like, I can't back him up anymore. Like, oh, yeah. I don't even know what to say now. All the famous people are like leaving. All the famous influential people are like leaving him. Now, he, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why he has to go to fringe people like Alex Jones and Tim Poole and all these different people who are like, who are willing to host him because they need it. Like, think about somebody like, I don't know, like, like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Joe Rogan, like those people, big, big platforms. Mm. They're not going to fucking host Kanye at this point. No, 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 no. no. He's just going to make them look bad. He's going to say a bunch of crazy shit. So he can't go on anywhere except for the most fringe shit at this point. Yeah. He can't even go on the Breakfast Club, I think. I don't think nah. Charlemagne would have him. He's going to fucking really Aiden Ross, so. bro. The guy's like less than 23 years old. I mean, he's just trying to find anyone with a big bro. platform where he can say whatever he wants. And these people, those people are going to be willing to host him because they want to build their following. Exactly. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Like their image they don't care is about all Kanye. about like yeah. crazy shit. So and like, all they're yeah, going to do it, they're, they're just going to be like, "Yo, he's crazy." They're not. They're not going to like take his side or anything. They're no. gonna, they're going to they're going to listen to him. They're going to be like, "So, what, what do you think about uh, the Nazis?" Yay! I'm and telling then you, he's going to go wild for like ten if, minutes. If he goes on this Aiden Ross stream. It is going to be the most insane thing you will ever see in your life. I mean, I don't even know what kind of person that guy is. Like, what kind of questions is he going to ask? How is he even? How is he going to handle Kanye West in front of him saying? It's just won't be able to. it's just one on one. No, you think he might pull up with so like he'll hey, be, this is so dude. He'll be sitting, it'll literally be Aiden Ross sitting in front of his computer, and then it'll be it'll be fucking Kanye West sitting right next to him. Okay, which is insane. <laughs> and it probably like some people that he knows. He might bring some girls or whatever, and like he, they're just going to like talk. So it's going to be like the blue face thing where they're around the exactly. monitor. It's going to be exactly like that. He's going to be sitting the most two feet away from Kanye insane West. Insane shit. Oh, my. And he's got to look him in his face and be like, okay. Right. <laughs> okay, continue. Because he go ahead. That's and wild. he's going to bring uh, porn stars on the shit. And then that's all. That's all. Is that what he does? Yeah. Aiden Ross? Yeah. He brings like porn stars. Okay, that's kind. That's kind of cool. For the past, all right, right. That, that, so, that's, that's kind of <laughs> that, that <laughs> that's kind of cool. So I'll tell you this: so Aiden Ross just like broke up with his girlfriend and shit. So for the past month, he's just been bringing like porn stars on the stream and like kissing them and shit. And it's the funniest <laughs> thing, bro. This guy it is so fucking that's funny. funny. Twenty one years old. He has yeah, to. dude. If I'm you're gonna 21, bring him on and I'm gonna kiss him right, <laughs> bro. right in front of you. Fuck you, Samantha. <laughs> they be making him do jump, uh, jumping jacks and shit. Like, it's a, that's it's what Speed does too, right? Bro. He kind of brings like like fine girls on. And oh just, like, yeah, has them twerking basically. No, Speed will like sniff their ass. Like, Speed, it is Speed is a wild one. Speed is a menace. I don't understand. I can't that's do it. Man. It's too loud, man, he, and that's the whole like vibe these days. That's yeah. the whole meme culture. Is like loud in your face and like all like just nonsensical. Just outlandish. People love yeah. that shit, man. They love like the outlandish, like super loud shit like it, it, it's no there's no subtlety it's just like content just boom smack dab in your face like yeah, there's no yeah. no nuance to anything it'll be like five words dude it'll be I, I don't even know what it'll be like i'm bro if kanye goes in this stream i'm telling you i will be tuned in i can't do it I, it's a secondhand embarrassment for me like i can't listen to him and watch these people talk back to him for too long. It's cringe, the, bro. The clips are already hard enough to get through. Yeah. But I can't even imagine watching him and Alex Jones back and forth. I can't, dude. It's a shit like, a shit would physically hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> it give me the heebie jeebies. I, I just feel I tense. will say, it's funny though. Seeing Alex Jones' reaction, right? I've never seen him shocked. He was, <laughs> he was legitimately right. like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> it was like, I wish I didn't have that because I do want to watch shit like that, but there's certain things I just can't I mean, if you've seen the stuff me. that Alex Jones has said before, exactly. Seeing him shocked, I mean, Alex Jones thinks that they're creating babies in West Virginia and that Hillary Clinton <laughs> is funding it. Yeah. He thinks this is true. And he hears Kanye say this shit, and he's like, "Jesus Christ, dude, this is too much, bro." Yeah, he was yeah like, are you not, sure you want to say? There yeah. were like at least Kanye's two, or, like, absolutely, bro. There were like at least two or three times where Alex Jones was like, "I think I disagree with you." Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kanye, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Uh. <laughs> oh my! And God. He, he asked him like two. He asked him like twice. He was like, "Is that really? Is that really yay?" He he, he, must, he asked him. He's like, "Is that you? Like, is that?" Because he wasn't sure. Because the shit he was saying was so crazy. He was like. Is that really a like? Is, I think Kanye wears that mask because he knows, like you said, dude. Like people can't look him in the eyes. Like you, 
imagine his facial expressions as he's saying these no, things. No, he's calm as a bat. He's, he's either calm as a bat or he has real wide eyes and he's like, yeah, right? It's right? And think, like, like crazy, like looking dead I, at you. Exactly. I think he doesn't want to look too crazy. So that's probably yeah. why he wears the mask. Like, he doesn't want to like... He doesn't want to. Why else would he wear? That's so weird. Why else would he fucking wear that mask over his face? It's the definitely whole like time? a message. It's like yeah. a, you know, like a I'm covering my face, like I'm nobody kind of thing. You know what I maybe, mean? Yeah, maybe yeah. Also, it's I'm that. everybody. Like I'm somebody. You know? I don't know how to describe it. Like you know what I mean? Like this guy doesn't want to show his face. He doesn't want to show these Kanye West. It's like he's like reinventing himself. But in well, a yeah, fucked he's up way. Yeah. A it's fucked it's, up it's way. a very fucked up way of reinventing yeah, yourself. Yeah, this is like and Kanye this is you 2.0. reinventing yourself, bro. I don't know what <laughs> image you think you're coming out with, but it's not good. I'm starting a new chapter of my life. Adolf <laughs> Hitler, I love you. <laughs> Jeez. What if this is all f- an elaborate thing just for an album? That's what people say. People are like, don't, there's no don't way. The album. Don't there's you guys no get way. it? Like, he's just trying to use his platform to like help black people, or like he's what? trying to like he's this trying is... to like bring down white supremacy. Don't you get it? And How I'm is like, this helping black people? That is not what this he's is, doing. This is doing nothing. I don't, I don't he is helping anymore. himself. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's no, the only he, person. He's, he's not helping. even helping himself. He's hurting himself. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because he's he's helping himself in views and things like that. Like in you know, in gaining like like really solidifying his weird following. But he's hurting himself in the real way, which in, is like the financial way. In every other way of his life, he yeah. is hurting himself. It doesn't matter if people like you on the internet. It doesn't matter if you got the most views on Twitter in no. a clip because you said wild shit. It's like now you have no partnerships. He's, oh he's, you know where he's gaining a following? In the most fringe alt-right motherfuckers. Yeah. Like the people who are like, the people who are more right than the Q motherfuckers. Yes. That's what we got to be scared of, dude. I saw the Batman and I saw what the Riddler <laughs> did. You know, like in the movie, so in the movie, like, he gains, like, a whole following of, like, 400 people. But they showed up. But they showed up. They showed up. On his Twitter, he has, like, 400 people. He's saying crazy shit to them. and like It's like a private Tumblr. It's like a private Tumblr thing. Yeah. And the Riddler posts videos and, like, of him fucking doing these schemes and murdering people and shit. And then the people are commenting, like, hell yeah, brother. And people support it, like, hard. And then when the day finally comes where he's like, everyone, come out with your guns and blah, blah, blah. They they all show up. up And they take over the fucking city. Yes, bro. (laughs) They pulled up. I mean, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. So shit like Mm. that, man, like, that's what scares me. That's what scares me about the future is, like, the alt-right motherfuckers really showing up with some AR-15s and being like, all right, we're taking over fucking whatever, and that's it. And like, You know, I think there's enough people who believe in reason to be able to, like, counterbalance that. Yeah, I hope so. Like, there's more people, like, those those fringe people are a very small percentage. And I will say, I'm going to say, like, January 6th, like, taught me a lot about it because... Yeah, there are people that are running through the hallways and all that shit, but there are more people that are like, what the fuck is going on? That's true. Yeah, and they exactly. didn't Why are we doing much. this? Exactly. All they did was take pictures in front of some important desks exactly. and shit. That's all it was. Like, they weren't, they didn't really do anything or change anything or they just scared like a few Congress yeah, people exactly. that were hiding out in there and it was like fucking five people. Exactly. Like, I bet you out of those people on January 6th, there's probably a small percentage of them who are actually trying to do shit. Like, yeah. There's probably maybe like a hundred or so. That were actually trying to murder or do something. The rest were probably just like just there, there along for the ride. They thought it was cool. They didn't know what was going to happen. They're like, let's fucking do it. Let's ride or whatever. Yeah. But those small percentage of people who did want to do shit, those motherfuckers really are scary, man. Yeah. They wanted, They came with zip ties. They came with weapons. They had a plan. That shit was orchestrated. They were hitting police and shit. They have guns. And they're yeah. like, you're not going to do shit. And they didn't. And they opened the doors. And I think the people who were like half ass on it, they were like, oh shit, they got the doors open. Yeah. All right, I'll go in. I'll fucking take a picture I'll with the raccoon. Pull skin up in thing. there. I'll see that Nancy Pelosi. Someone desk. give me Davy Crockett's hat. Let me put that on. <laughs> Let me take a pic with this. Davy Crockett's hat. Man, what an absolute trip. It just makes you wonder where the world is going to go. Because, I mean, it's wild to see, like, when people like this say the wildest shit, it gets the most views. It really does. Yeah. But it's not like people are supporting them, but it's just the messages that are able to, like, spread so quickly. You know? But I think a lot of people realize the message, like, a message Kanye spreading, for instance, is just bullshit. Like, yeah. yeah. I have seen. I, I mean, I honestly have not seen many, as far as, like, if we compare the numbers, I see more people, like, condemning the shit he's saying versus people being like, yeah, he has a point. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a very small percentage of people no, who you're are right. saying, like, the guy has a point. It's just, get on Twitter, bro. Get on Twitter and read some of those comments. I'll say it is. It is strange, bro. But sometimes you read that shit and you're like, these aren't real people. They can't be real people. I don't think this is how they feel in real life. They're just saying crazy things on the internet. But But you never know. Most people don't support it, but then there are those people that are like, you know, he has a point. Or like, did you know about this? And it's like some conspiracy that kind of backs up what he says. It's just, it's wild, man. It's wild to me that even like 10 people would do that and publicly admit like, I agree with Kanye West about this. I bet you a lot of those people that are agreeing with him or whatever have probably never even met a Jewish person in their life. Yeah, like 14-year-olds. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. 
It's just such a strange thing. That's Man, the weird thing I, about the internet. Anyone could be behind these profiles. Anybody. Can I change the subject and talk about a funny story? Please sure. do. Last Please night. do. I've been holding the story in the whole time. So uh, a friend of mine's, his sister uh, is fostering a dog right now. She found the dog on like the, the like it was a stray dog or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. She cleaned it up. She gave her uh, the dog shots and everything like that. And so we're going out uh, last night, and. She's like, well, I have to take the dog with us because, you know, I don't want to leave the dog at home because he might act out and do some wild shit. So we're at a restaurant. The dog is chilling. People are petting the dog. People love the dog. All right, cool. We go to another bar. The dog is chilling. People are petting him. But then we go to another bar. Mm. And it's getting towards the end of the night. It's like 1230, maybe like one at night. And these two girls are trying to, like, pet the dog. And he starts growling. Ooh. Oh, and no. so I'm sleepy. And so homegirl like grabs him, like gr- like pulls him by the leash, and it's like, all right, we need to go. Like, we need to go home because he's probably getting mad and shit. But no, this motherfucker decided to go to yo-yos. Oh. And our dumbasses is in line with this fucking dog that's angry as shit now. And we're walking around, and this group of people, it's like maybe five, six people. Oh my God, can't we pet the dog? We want to pet the dog. They fucking pet the dog. The dog bites somebody. <gasps> oh! No! The dog, I've seen the dog. It's big, bro. The dog bites somebody on the hand. <gasps> and the guy's like, oh my God, does the dog have shots? Do I have rabies? Do I, is the dog vaccinated? We're like, yeah, bro, fucking chill out. Like, relax. Chill out before I let him loose. Exactly. And let him kill you. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> no, I mean, I understand why the guy's scared. I'd be fucking I would horrified. Too. Also, a dog bite has to hurt. No. But also, I wouldn't be a dumbass petting somebody's dog in public. So, what the fuck do I look like? We go home and, uh, like, we got our food. We ate and shit like that. We go home. And the girl is, like, fumbling with her keys and, like, shit like that. And she's, like, trying to get her keys to go in the house. She drops the leash. Oh. This motherfucker took off <gasps> down the street. <laughs> no. And, and me and my friend are in our car. We look at each other, and we just have, like, the deepest side. We're like, bro, I don't want to help her find I'm this. not chasing this motherfucker. I don't want to chase this So the dog, dog is, like, ready to go once that leash the is gone. The dog jets off, bro. Oh, my god. And goodness. so we're in the fucking, we're in this fucking car driving down the street to, like, go, like, Try to get him. And so I get out the car, and I'm like, yo, I'm like, hey, like, come here. And he's like, he pees for five seconds. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to, like, grab the leash. And I come close, and he just takes off. And I'm like, bro, he doesn't want to be found. Like, let him go. For real, bro. He let him be free. Let him go. Let him go. But you can't. You can't. It's a menace. <laughs> so the girl thinks we're helping her find the dog. <laughs> and oh, me and my, my friend, we just say, nah, let's just go home. Let's just go home. <laughs> and, she, and she's driving her car around the neighborhood, and she sees us leave. And we just oh. start cracking up laughing. Oh, my That's God. Hilarious. She, did she did eventually find the dog. Okay. But, boy, it was a funny thing. Bro, <laughs> get rid of the, Fuck that dog, man. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, bro, I have that no dog sympathy for that fucker, bro. I he have just, sympathy for the dog. He just bit somebody. <laughs> fuck him. But they did have him out all night around a shit ton of people for yeah, hours. Bro, that's people, not fair. That's we not were, advisable. But, I mean, still... He bit somebody that he ran away. I'm giving him a home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but he's a dog. He doesn't get it. He I don't give a shit it. if he gets it or not. He, he doesn't he get was, it. He yeah. was overwhelmed and like shit like that. And like there was, we were at a bar and literally a guy was like laying like next to the dog and like hugging him and shit. I was like, bro, okay, let's, that's, this is too much. This is dangerous. Well, well, right, yeah. Let me ask you, th- this guy, what ethnicity was he? I don't, I don't know. He looked Hispanic. He but looked Hispanic. Oh yeah, you seen the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looked Hispanic. He was, was very ambiguous. I a guy, a guy you guys white. did not know. A guy we did not know. Everybody that's interacting with this dog, we do not know them. People have way too big a balls to be petting these big it, ass exactly. dogs. Exactly. It's a big fucking dog. It's a fucking you right big dog. What, what it looks kind of like dog a fucking is wolf from I don't Game of Thrones. Know. It's you know, a big ass dog. He's like kind of. He's very hairy. It looks like a German Shepherd. I think like a white German Shepherd. Yeah. Oh, is it the Great Pyrenees? Probably. Yeah. They're big, right? He's a big fucker, Big fluffy bro. motherfucker. It's probably a Great Pyrenees if it's white and it's bro. big. I think I just have a soft spot for animals. But, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I can see how someone would be like, all right, time to give this dog up. I can't foster this thing anymore. But I can also see why the thing is acting out. Yeah, because at the beginning of the night, he was chilling. Like, yeah. He was fine. He He's was probably just really pissed nice. and tired, and too many people have touched him. It's too many smells Ooh, for a dog. Too many, right, so wait, too so many tell noises. Me what happens, tell me what happens when he bites the guy, bro. Bro, he bites the guy. On a, I'm so, on okay, the yeah. Hand? He's petting his head, and he's like, Ash. One yeah, because bro, it's like five people like petting him and like rubbing him in his face at the same time, and he's like, "Bro, I want to go home." Yeah, and so he bites him, he barks, and then he bites him, 
And like what then, kind of bite? Like I like held on or like, like a second? I didn't, no, not not held oh, on. It was a nick. It was a nick. It was a nick. It was a quick little nick. It was just like a get the fuck away. Exactly. Okay. And then the dude starts freaking out, and then my friend is like, "Bro, I'll beat your fucking ass! Stop talking! <laughs> Stop talking about the damn shot!" Your just friend, go away. your friend says he'll beat the guy's ass. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm telling you, bro, I'll let this dog go. You better shut the fuck and up. And it's a, a wimpy ass dude, bro. This is a loser. <laughs> I he's feel bad for this hand. guy, man. He's rubbing his hand and he's freaking out, and we're like, "Bro, it has shots. Like, we understand it to bit you." My, Did sorry. it break skin? I think it broke skin. So it, it, he was ble- like he, he his hand wasn't tattered. No, he was fine. I mean, he could keep he could eat. The dog was his neck. Them. He got a yo yo stuff. Exactly. <laughs> he was eating when we drove away. But yeah, it, his, his hand was bleeding. So you gotta be. I don't know, bro. So those big ass dogs like that. I don't pet. I don't. It's do his own fault. I'm not gonna go and pet somebody's dog, bro. What the fuck? That's yeah. not. I'm not. No, bro. The whole night people were just rubbing all up on this dog. The dude was laying. Like spooning the dog on the ground, I was like, "This is too much." And the dog was chilling. He was chilling at that point, and then like five minutes later, he growled at those girls. Oh, see, that's too much. Bro. And he was scaring the hoes. No, <laughs> he was scaring the hoes away, He's barking this at the hoes, dude. Dog. Like, this guy's but, acting rabid with the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> acting, acting rabid around the hoes. We can't <laughs> have that. When dude. I tell you that motherfucker ran down the street from the house, I was like, "Bro, he's. I don't. I don't want to." Bro, do the it, second bro. he runs, I'm not going after this motherfucker. And man. she looks at us. She looks at. She's like. What do I do? Like, what do I do? I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck about this dog. It's I don't care too damn late at night. It's late as shit. It I'm was three thirty a.m. Yeah, three thirty. I respect three thirty in the morning. I respect her because that's a nice fucking person. I know the bro. girl you're talking about. She's a nice. She's fucking a great person. person, but man, she was on one that night. Now because like, those dogs, no, like those dogs are too big to where a stranger is probably not going to come up and try to exactly. help. Exactly. So that dog's going to run around, either get hit by a car or bite someone, or just like die in the woods or something yeah. like that. I don't know, but I could see how someone could be like, "The fuck the dog," because it's they're too fucking oh. big, and unless you really love this thing, it's a lot. And it's he was a trying lot of to maintenance. He was trying to hunt people. He was like, "Get up!" He would stand up and try to hunt people. Oh my wild. god! I can't do big dogs, man. I can't do big dogs. They're too scary for me. They're too too, scary it, for it's me. too real, dude. Because those things, like first and foremost, you don't realize how fast a dog is until yeah. you're trying to catch a dog. Yes. Oh, really? I used to have fast. a miniature poodle, dude. The thing's like fucking a foot and a half long. That motherfucker could outrun me even until he was, like, fucking 10 years old. Exactly. They're so fast. Like, they could just bolt off so quickly. And the fact that I just saw you bite someone an hour ago. Yeah. You think I want to, like, try to trap you and put you in a car with And me? now your nah, tail is wagging. That, it's like, dude. this is a sick He's not, not going to be happy about that. He was not happy. Nah, I'm not grabbing this thing. I got to, like, entice it to me. If I just grab the leash, now I'm hitched to this crazy dog. <laughs> And he might run straight for me. Exactly, bro. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? He turns the leash back around and fucking jumps. There's at ways. Him, bro. There's ways like animal, animal like like Caesar Malone type and like those like animal sanctuary people. Yeah. The way they grab them, they like they like kind of hold them back like this to where they can jump at them, but they can't get to them. Man. You ever see how Fuck he does that. the fucking dog? The fucking. Yeah. He does the fucking noise. It's apparently he kicks him on the sidelines, <laughs> and it don't they don't show that on camera. But for real, apparently like he kicks him in the face, like kicks him in the neck. I mean, they or have a, like jab him in the neck like Jackie Chan. They have a, <laughs> <laughs> they have a <laughs> hey, Carter. They have a high pain tolerance. <laughs> they so do. Like, you hitting them, and they don't feel that shit. Like you could okay. you could stick your dog as hard as you can. No, they feel it. If but, you, but, but, they, you, but it's, it's a different type of pain. If tolerance. you have a poodle and you stick a poodle, okay, that's wrong. Even if you, if you have a, they'll feel it. That's if why you have they're scared. And you fucking stick that motherfucker. They're going to think you're playing. They're going to want to play with you. Yeah. It, it depends. They have a high like, pain tolerance, If you give bro. them like a slap in the face, yeah. But if you punch a dog, that's why they stop misbehaving because they know, hey, that hurt. That hurt, bro. Let me, <laughs> let me chill, man. Nah, let man. Me chill. It, it depends on the malice you have. If you come in, I'm like, you fucking motherfucker. Yeah. But you which, know, if you're just fucking like... If you play, punch a dog... If you're <laughs> playing around and you're fucking smiling and you smack the shit out of him, he's yeah. just going to fucking keep playing with you. Yeah, now they don't care. If you like face smush them hard or like yeah. slap them, they, they really don't mind. Because they like, have a, that's how they play. They play rough. Have you ever seen them play with each other? They play rough, bro. Yeah, they're yeah. biting. They're probably they biting each other. The fur, but you just can't see. Oh yeah, it, but yeah. they don't mind. No. But yeah, at a certain point, they they definitely get to like, hey, this, he's trying to hurt me. Like, I'm either chill out, or I'm gonna go fight. Him. Yeah, I'm gonna go back at his yeah. ass. It's definitely like fight or flight with dogs. Like, they'll either fight back or they'll like be submissive. I think yeah. they're, good, they're good at reading the vibes from people. If somebody's giving off a vibe like you piece of shit, they're gonna fucking hey, hate that. That's man. why I do bad with big dogs because I give off a terrified vibe. <laughs> <laughs> if, and you know, I will say the guy that he bit, he bit the right guy. He, gave he bit the wimpiest guy out of everybody. He bit the right guy. <laughs> yeah. 
You should have came correct, bro. Don't, you came don't correct. come to me quivering, bro, and scared. <laughs> or I will bite your yeah, head. Yeah, it's funny that your friend said he'd beat the guy's ass after yeah, the guy bro. was worried. He's, <laughs> he was <laughs> rubbing his hand like a fucking bitch. How'd the guy leave? He just walked away holding his hand? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine like Napoleon Dynamite. They're like, he was just rubbing his hand. He's like, oh my God. I might have rabies. There's, and there, his friends were like, bro, just. Shut up. And you know they all had a conversation about that later. They probably yes. having a conversation about it today. They had one. <laughs> about <right>? the dog <laughs> biting him. Bro, I just remember the look of fear in their eyes. And I was like, wow, this is hilarious. People are just too much, man. They too much. Don't come up to my dog petting my yeah, dog. What's, I'm not all. going up to what no stranger's doing? dog. I don't care if it's the most friendly looking dog I've ever seen. I don't care if that thing doesn't have teeth and just gums. I'm not, go- <laughs> I'm not going up to it and petting it. It's too I'll real. get close to it, but I won't fucking pet it. I'm not it. petting it. Yeah. I'm not petting it, man. Unless they're like my friend and that's their dog. That's different. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But if it's like strangers at a bar, I'm not going to no. go pet a stranger's dog. Even no, if they say, uh. you could pet my dog. It's okay, man. Thank I've you. seen dog bites, bro. That shit looks painful. Exactly. Them bitches tear you up. And if they're the certain kind of dogs, like pit bulls and shit, they'll hang on and they like Ooh. they go back and forth like crocodiles. Bro, they fuck your oh shit. Oh, my I'm God. Like, they rip your skin up. I didn't Jesus want to think Christ. about that. That's yeah. that's a good note to end on. Yeah. Uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Shout out to her though. Shout, shout out to her. She's a great person. Shout out to Blank Sister. She's for, for rescuing yeah. that dog. Man. Good person. Yeah. The dog was a piece of shit. I hope the dog takes. <laughs> the dog, is a piece of the dog, dog, dog is if you're listening, chill out, bro. Yeah, dog, if you're listening, bro, run away again. Run away, bro. Relax, relax. No, don't run away. Chill out. <laughs> hey, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, dog. Thanks, guys. <laughs> bye, dog. Bye, dog. Oh, yeah, that's funny. The dog bit that fucking. Yeah. Hilarious.